During the American Revolution, if you were a loyalist, it meant you supported British rule of the American colonies. You would have believed in British rule. You would have probably been more likely to be a clergyman. You might have been a professional. You might have been a veteran of the British Army. Overall, your core belief would have told you that somehow the American colonies were better off under British rule. Before the American Revolution, people who felt this way might be called Tories. Now, patriots, sometimes also called Whigs, and also known as rebels, really believed in the principles of the American Revolution. They might have been more likely to be students or farmers who are going to believe in this, and they are going to support the creation of an American democratic republic, also known as republicanism. Whigs versus Tories, loyalists versus patriots. It's not always so clear where everyone comes down, but in general, you had to pick a side. So you were either a patriot or a loyalist, or you really kept your head down. As a result of people picking sides, as a result of the Revolutionary War and the principles of the American Revolution, of course, you know, the Americans will be victorious in at least shrugging off British rule. And we have been trying, trying to perfect the Democratic Republic ever since. Hello, this is Trace Atkins. To stay up to date on all the latest and coolest videos, please subscribe to the Trust's YouTube channel. Preserve. Educate. Inspire.